Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for September 9th. September 9th. And this is for all signs, and I'd like you to keep in mind that if this reading fits easily, then it's yours. If there's a struggle, if you're confused, then it's probably not for you, okay? Um, I woke up this morning before I even got out of bed. Before I even got out of bed, I was laying there, and I was just, you know, opening my eyes, and I realized it's 9-9. Nine, nine. It's 9-9-9. Nine, 9-9-9, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. okay? It's 9-9-9. Nine, nine, nine. And it is the Virgo new moon, okay? And I'm starting to get the chills as I speak, okay? If you look, it, it, okay, okay. Because 18 converts to a 9. And I can go further and and go, but I'm not going to. It's 999. It is the 999 portal. You can find a lot of videos on YouTube about the 999 portal if you're interested. Um, anyway, so I was laying in bed and I was thinking about that and what came to mind. I know what nines are. Nines are the time to move on. It's time to move on. It's time to let go. It's a time for closure. Okay, 999. It's time for closure. It's a number of humanity and compassion. Okay? Um, with endings bring new beginnings. The next number is a 10, which is a completion. 10 converts to a 1, which is a, which is a new beginning. A 1 is a new beginning. So endings bring new beginnings. So it's the beginning of the end, or it's the end of the beginning, however you want to look at it. It's time one door is closing and a new door is opening. That's what this is. It's time to move on from where you've been. It's time to take that step in the new direction. Closure is upon you in some situation in your life. So, I've decided to use this deck. I can't remember the name of it. This deck, this deck. We're going to use a couple oracle decks, different oracle decks today because it is it's a special day. 999 it is. It is. Um, feel free to look up the meaning of nines if if you don't know, but it is time for closure, all right? Um, it's just it's it's really time to just not sweat the small stuff. It's no longer about waiting. It's time to close that chapter. Acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. Accept what is. It is what it is. We're going to get one of these as well. And it's funny because I know a lot of people don't want to hear my stories. They want to go right to the reading. But I don't know about you, but I'm making big moves. Big, big, big moves. And last night I took, a, I took another step. You know, I took another step. I've started looking for real estate down south. I am closing this door. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a big move. Big moves are on the horizon. And today could be the day where you decide to make that big move. God is in charge. God is in charge. Your God. Not the idealistic God. Your God is in charge. Your higher power is in charge. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Yes, please let me let go. So that we can all be healed. Even if that means that I need to walk away.
We're gonna get some of these. At the end, we're gonna use we're gonna use another oracle, but I'm gonna wait for the end. You know, when they fall out, I have to take them. It's just the way it is. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, confidence, courage, strength, strength, willpower. I'm regaining my focus and my concentration to do whatever I have to do to succeed. I'm ready to prevail and be the boss of my own life. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I, I have the discipline and the devotion to complete the tasks that I need to complete to get to where I need to go. Somebody is really taking back their power. These are two very powerful women in the upright. We're going to get the rest of the cards before we go any further. King of Cups reversed. Yikes. Justice reversed. There's been an injustice. Somebody has not been telling the truth. Somebody's been dishonest, whether it's you've been dishonest with yourself or you've been dealing with somebody that's dishonest. There's a dishonest situation. And it's dishonest because it's karmic. You have to find the strength to be practical. To do, do the right thing for you. And remove yourself from a situation that isn't good for you. It doesn't have good intentions. There's no follow through. Oh, the moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Libra. This is Pisces, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We're just going to get the rest of these. Fate. Destiny. Something is changing. Your life is about to change. Probably pretty quickly with the Knight of Wands. It looks like I am taking action to change my life and close this door from a situation that has no... that has been detached. You know, there's, there's been no forward movement. There's been no communication. There's been withdrawal. The King of Cups in reverse is a person, any sign, that is detached, withdrawn, and cold. King of Coins reverse, so you could be dealing with uh, an Earth side for sure. We have that a couple times, or a Fire sign doesn't really matter. But the, the, you're, you've decided, you've come to the point where I'm letting go. I'm letting go of this emptiness. I'm letting go of this idea. I'm letting go of this thought that was unreal. You know, I'm letting go of this. Of lying to myself about this situation. It's time for me to accept reality and make the best moves for my stability, my security. And I feel as though somebody is, is making moves to complete one relationship. Okay, there's a relationship completion here that brings a new beginning. And it brings in more abundance. It brings in more security and stability that's been had in a really, really long time. Now, with a Wheel of Fortune, it's like what goes around comes around. And what it's time for this it's time for your reward. 
okay it's time for the it's time for your reward for going through this karmic event you know somebody has been in a situation where they needed to learn a serious lesson and now that the lesson has been learned and accepted they're they're being given a new path towards abundance okay with this ten of coins you could be moving <laughs> yeah you could be moving you could be thinking about moving planning a move a move away from this individual who is closed off the four of swords is the death of an idea I'm done I'm, I'm, I'm removing myself from this situation because it's not balanced, it's unjustified, there's lies, there's deceit, there's dishonesty here. Somebody has been focused on selfishness, their own, their, themselves, somebody's been very selfish in this situation, living in an illusion Okay, with this moon card. Letting fears of the unknown hold them back. But I feel like today is a day of a major completion that brings you something better. When you make that decision that is the most practical thing, practical, responsible, and courageous for you, okay? It looks like you're finding the confidence to face the unknown, to face your fears. And the time is now. It's destined. It's this, this, this new path, this new chapter that's opening up as you close this door is bringing you something that is, is much, much, much better, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck. Whatever you're being given is very fortunate, okay? It's the Wheel of Fortune. It is. They're bringing you a fortunate change that is going to bring growth into your life. It's going to boost your confidence. And it's happening very quickly. So I see that change is happening very, very quickly at this time. Doors are closing and new doors are opening. And the new doors that are opening are, are more abundant and stable than holding on to this situation where there's no communication and there's withdrawal and there's... Um, self-centeredness okay there's a there's a situation that somebody is holding on to this where you're holding on to a situation a person that is selfish and self-centered and that's that's not that's not justice that's unfair it's time to stop treating yourself unfairly and let that idea go that this person is going to come around and they're going to turn themselves around. It's time to let go of that idea that this person is going to turn them. They're going to get right. They're going to get upright. They're going to get right. They're going to turn around. You can't make somebody turn around when you accept what is. Your stability and your security and your abundance will come right back. But the truth is, you have to accept what is. And stop trying to live in an illusion that somebody is going to change. Because that's just a thought. That's just an idea. It's not real. This is a karmic situation somebody has been holding on to. And the karmic, situ the karmic lesson is acceptance. God is in charge.
You can't make somebody change. There's no love in these cards. You need to face your insecurities. Find your confidence and your courage and your strength and your perseverance and the discipline that you need to respect yourself enough to accept the situation as it is and close that chapter that is only karmic in bringing you making you unbalanced and weighing you down. There's a new beginning as this door is closing. There is. And it's bringing you more abundance and more beautiful, good things than you can even see at this time. death of an idea. The old whatever karmic situation that you have been holding on to isn't going to change. It's, it's not going to change. Accept it. Accept it. It's a major lesson. Acceptance. We're going to get one of these. There's more than one. We're not going to do that. Nine, nine, nine. a sign to move on towards better things going beyond normal we're going to read this card I just want to make sure it's zoomed in On the path of life, there are deciding moments when we choose to go with the mainstream or we can dare to take a bolder, more authentic and trusting way, even if it seems riskier or less, less safe. To rely solely on logic and science without incorporating the mysterious and magical is a recipe for an existence that is far too dry. The sacred rebel, rebel within our hearts will always choose a juicier approach to life. You are currently approaching such a choice point. You could say that the choice is about balance. It is less about choosing to honor either art or science, gardening or architecture, and more about integrating all approaches so that you en enhance rather than hinder your life journey. Placing science or architecture above all else kills off the rebellious heart. Steadfastly relying on logic, proof, and a complete set of plans to measure and dictate outcomes will suffocate the soul. Basing decisions on limited factors with an imbalanced measure of success is unnecessarily limiting. This approach prevents us from living freely. And somebody is really unbalanced, seriously. But anyway, um, basing decisions on limited factors with an imbalanced measure of success is unnecessary limiting. This approach prevents us from living freely, spontaneously, and will trust and with trust so that we can rebel against the need for things to go strictly according to plan. 
Choose to value decisions based on passion and instinct and trust in life enough to embrace it as an adventure and let it unfold as it will. There is a time and a place for logic, strategy, planning, and measurable outcomes. These are not bad tools to have, but we must be vigilant not to worship them or allow them to quash our less rational but equally valuable decision-making tools. Intuition, feelings, and those things you know without knowing how you know them. The flowing, inspirational energy of the heart may have no conceivable basis in logic or reason and still be uncannily accurate. To remain rebellious, we must not sacrifice the art of emotion, instinct, passion, and intuition for the science of logic and strict planning. Let go of the science. Accept what is. On the other hand, gardening and art do provide us with a plan, albeit most more loosely held. This plan still requires us to set aside time to draw upon reliable methods and to prepare with certain tools. However, there is also a healthy dose of organic flow, <laughs> responsiveness, and trust in the creative process of bringing something to life. This leads to the cultiva cultivation of the most beautiful, abundant, and successful garden. Abundance right here. It's, it's coming. Coming. Abundance is coming. And the most vivid healing art. You are being asked to stay open to the intuitive approach in your life, your work, your creativity, as well as in your spiritual journey. The intuitive approach can be likened to the method of a gardener or an artist. There is a sense of what might work, where, and a lose of even or even a detailed plan, but how the plan is carried out will depend and respond to the flow of its surroundings. There is no need to control the situation, but rather a desire to nurture an idea to fruition. You may have pressures around you from the world or from your own conditioned nature. Let me read that one again. You may have pressures around you from your world or from your own conditioned nature to do things according to the rules. God's in charge. Keep that in mind. To do things according to the rules, to a deadline, or to the accepted mainstream view that you need a well-thought-out plan for success in a commercial venture. However, sometimes the best plan is to do what feels intuitively truthful in the moment and to trust that you are being led towards that path for your own growth. This oracle brings you a special piece of guidance. You are moving outside of the plan. You are living on the border of what is socially accepted. This is good. This is a fringe dwelling freedom. Others might not see this about you straight away as you seem pretty normal, but that secret eccentric streak is just waiting to show itself. And maybe you are an out and proud fringe dweller, completely comfortable with, the way, with this way of being. Either way, this oracle brings you the message that now, that you now have a chance to live from the heart more deeply and expressively than ever before. This or if if you are yet to relate to this consciously, if you are yet to relate to this consciously, this oracle brings you the further message that you are going to be breaking with the tradition that you have held on to. Perhaps not entirely, but at least in a way that is meaningful to you. This will require you to have courage in your convictions and faith in your heart's truths. Unbelievable. So today is a day of, of closing, closing chapters. 
allowing fate to play its part in accepting, accepting that God is in charge. One door closes and another door opens. And, and behind that blue door is abundance and security and beautiful things with that Wheel of Fortune. It's a, it's a, it's a whole new chapter. It's a whole new life. But you have to accept that the red door, which is the past, is closed. Don't look back. For some reason, I feel the need to say... I'm not going to say it. Talk to you next time.